wrote a book called Love Leadership, A New Way to Lead in a Fear-Based World, which is now on the bestseller list for the last five months. And it, it codifies a lot of my philosophies and my approaches uh, to leading by love and not fear, by focusing on what you have to give versus what you have to get. And if you're uh, in, in MySpace uh, uh, aficionado, and I'm on MySpace, if you are uh, looking at the Wall Street Journal and you're a young person, uh, you are a person of vision and engagement and you're trying to find a purpose in your life and you're asking questions. So let me give you five answers that may help you. These are the five laws of love leadership. Number one, loss creates leaders. Nobody woke up in the morning and said, I want to start a cancer foundation. People who start cancer foundations are people whose lives have been impacted by cancer, directly or indirectly. So loss creates leaders. There's nothing wrong with pain. It's the, but the question is not what life does to you, but how you respond to it. Success is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Point number two, fear fails. Point number three, love makes money. So we treated our, uh, our clients in banking like relationships and not as transactions in the subprime mortgage crisis. You wouldn't have a crisis. Number four, vulnerability is power. Uh, I didn't stand here and tell you how great I am, or reportedly how many great things I've done, because that's one irrelevant and it's not true. We're not as good as our compliments, we're not as bad as our criticisms. So you've got to become comfortable in your own skin. You've got to say, I am that I am. I'm, I'm good. Unfortunately, I'm a little bad. I screw up every day. I'm a bit of a bum. I'm a sinner. Uh, but a saint is a sinner that got up. I'm trying the best I can to be the best I can in rainbows after storms. And lastly, giving is getting, which is really nice way to summarize because that's really why we're here in Davos. That's why this wonderful lady who's doing this uh, interview has dedicated her life to going around the world trying to figure this world out. Quincy Jones, my mentor, says you got to go to know. And she's gone around the world and stayed in different parts of the world to understand people. She's now living in New Orleans to understand that culture. She's also embedding herself in giving and as a result of that she's been recognized by News Corp, recognized by Wall Street Journal, recognized by the leaders in my space and now recognized by the most preeminent leadership organization in the world, World Economic Forum. So what can you do?